Hello everyone, welcome to maths class. In this video, I am going to solving the maths uh, from assignment 10.3. But before watching this video, you have to watch the previous video in which uh, video I have uh, learnt you. Uh, I have uh, taught you the unitary method. So first of all, uh, all of you uh, to learn that method. Then you will watch this video and complete this assignment. First questions are MCQ question. A shirt, a shirt uh, costs 500 rupees. The cost of 10 such shirts. So what will be the cost of 10 such shirts? Here the, here the cost of one shirt is given. You have to find the cost of 10 shirts. So when the information of one object is given, you have to find the uh, information of many objects by multiplication. So if you multiply 500 by 10, 500 by 10, you will find the value. So this will be 5,000. This will be 5,000 rupees. Next question number 2. Five persons complete a certain job in two days. How many days will ten person take to finish the job? Okay. So first, I have told you that for solving any maths by unitary method, first we, we will make a table. How can you make the table? You have to write the two quantity. What is given in the question and what is asked in the question. And you have to also find which information is uh, found to be, uh, uh, which information you need to find. That inform information you will write in the right side. J information to find out, so number of mass persons, number of days. Here, five person can do the, that work in two days. So, five person, two days. 10 person how many days? So number of person and days. Suppose you uh, do, you can do a work, uh, you can do a work alone in 5 days. But if you and your friend can do that work, then you can uh, do the work uh, uh, faster than the um, uh, before. যদি তুমি একা একা কোনো একটা কাজ করো তাহলে 5 ডেজে করতে পারছো আর যদি তোমার ফ্রেন্ড তোমাকে হেল্প করে কাজটা করতে তাহলে তুমি কাজটা তো তাড়াতাড়ি করতে পারছো তো দেখতে পাচ্ছ যে নাম্বার অফ ডেজ যখন বাড়ছে সরি নাম্বার অফ পারসেন্স যখন ইনক্রিজ করছে নাম্বার অফ ডেজটা তখন ডিক্রিজ করবে যত বেশি লোক মিলে একটা কাজ করবে বেশি পারসেন্ট মিলে একটা কাজ করবে টাইমটা তত কম লাগবে সো দিস কোয়ান্টিটি ইনক্রিজেস this quantity decreases. So that means these two quantities given quantities are in inverse variation. Inverse variation. So now we will write this in word. Five person can do a work in two days. Then one person. So in uh, inverse variation uh, for finding one uh, one this in this step you can do the multiplication. Next, ten person can do a work in five into two divided by ten days. So two five is a ten. Five five is a five. So this will be one day. This will be one day. Okay. So this will be the answer. Next question number three. You will solve this by yourself. Next question number two. A fast train covers 360 kilometer in 3 hours 20 minutes. How much time will it take to cover a distance of 90 kilometer? Here two quantity are distance and time. But first of all, you have to convert this in minutes. 3 hours, 20 minutes. So, 3 hours means 3 into 60 plus 20. This much minutes. So, 3 into 60, this gives 180 plus 20. So, this will be 200 minutes. Okay. So, uh, to 360 kilometer distance covers in 200 minutes. So, 90 kilometer distance will be covered by how much minute? Distance and time. So, 
you know that when the speed is same then uh, if you take uh, 10 minutes to cover 5 km so uh, if you want to cover 10 km then you have to take more time than the before 5 km distance cover korte joto ta time lagbe jodi 10 km distance cover korte hoy tale beshi time lage so when distance increase then time also increase so distance and time are in direct variation this will be in direct variation here uh, first of all we will assume let the required time be x minutes so uh, we, i have solved the maths uh, by this method you, if you can do uh, the this maths in another method you can do that 360 is to 90 and 200 is to x so this is in direct variation okay so the now these four numbers are in proportion so the product of the extreme is equal to the product of the medial term so the value of x will be 900 into 90 to 200 divided by 360 so zero can be cancelled 9 4s are 36 4 5s are 20 50 so 50 minutes 50 minutes how much time will it take to cover a distance it will take it will take 50 minutes to cover 90 kilometer next question number 4 if the cost of one dozen pen is 60 rupees, then what is the cost of 60 such pens? If the cost of one dozen pen is 60 rupees, then what is the cost of 60 such pens? If the cost of one dozen pen, here two quantity are the cost of pen and quantity of pen. But here it is... Uh, required to find the cost so you have to take the uh, this quantity in the right side so here the number of pin and cost of pin one dozen pin means 12 pins okay so 12 pins cost 60 rupees you have to find the cost of 60 such pin 60 such pin 12 pins cost 60 rupees what is the cost of 60 such pin so the number of pin and cost of pin are in so when the number of pin increase then the uh, cost is uh, always uh, decreasing so that means these two quantity will be in direct variation direct variation so let the required cost be x so now how can you write the relation 12 is to 60 proportion 60 is to x. So here the product of the extreme is equal to the product of the means. Okay. So from this relation you can write this relation. Now you have to find the value of x. 16 into 60 divided by 12 is multiplied here so if you see 12 uh, from left to right so this will be divided 12 5 is a 60 5 60 is a 300 so 60 pen costs 300 rupees 60 pen costs 300 rupees so you have to write the answer okay next question number 6 38 kg of rice cost this much. What is the cost of 20 kg of such rice? Here two quantities are given. Quantity of rice and cost of rice. But here uh, the you have to find the cost. So first of all you have to make a chart. Quantity of rice and in the another side cost of rice. So this quantity 38 kg co uh, rice cost this much rupees. And what will be the cost of 20 kg such rice. So quantity and cost of rice are in direct variation. Are in direct variation. Let the required cost be x. 
So you can write this relation 38 is to 20 proportion 275.50 is to x. So these four numbers are in proportion. That means you can write that uh, the product of the, the condition of the proportion, the product of the extremes equal to the product of the medial term. So, sorry, 38 into x. 38 into x equal to 20 into this much. So, you have to find the value of x. 20 into 275.50 divided by 38. So, first of all, you have to remove this point. For this point, you can write here 1 and there is 2 decimal place. So, you can write here 2, 0. So, 0 can be cancelled. 2, 19 is a 38. Okay. So, 19, 1 is a 19, 19, 1 is a 19, 19, 1 is a 19, 27 minus 19 is 8, so 85, 4, 19 is a 76, 7, 85 minus 76 is 9 and 9, 5, so 95, 5, 19 is a 95, so 145, this will be the answer, so the cost of 20 kg rice is 145 rupees. Okay. Now this problem. Question number 8. 10% can fill up a water tank in 20 hours. Then how many persons are needed to fill it up in 5 hours? So, 10% can fill up a water tank in 20 hours. Then how many persons are needed to fill it up in 5 hours? How can you find this? So, here the number of persons and time. Here the number of persons and time. But here the number of persons you need to find. So, first of all you make a chart time and number of person. 10 person can fill a tank in 20 hours. So, for uh, filling that tank in 5 hours, how many persons are needed? How many persons are needed? The given quantity, time and number of persons. So, jodi taratari, jato taratari kachta kora darkar, tato beshi lokit darkar. So, that means when uh, the time decrease, then the number of persons increase. So, that means the given quantity are in inverse variation. Okay. So, remember this number of persons and number of days or time. This quantity will be always in inverse variation. Okay. Here the let the required number of person be x. So, 20 is to 5 proportion x is to 20. This is this is in inverse variation. So 20 is to 5 proportion x is to 20. These four numbers are in inverse variation. So from this relation you can write a relation that is the product of the extreme terms is equal to the product of the middle terms. So 5 into x equal to 20 into 20. 20 into sorry here will be 10. 20 into 10. So, the value of x will be 20 into 10 by 5. 5 to the 10. So, 20 into 2 gives 40. So, 40% can do, 40% uh, can fill the tank in 5 hours. Okay. So, I hope all of you can understand this question. Next, question number 9. Rakesh bought 10 pens for 55 rupees. Raju bought 2 pens for 13 rupees. Who has paid more? Who has paid more? So, Rakesh bought 10 pens for 55 rupees. Raju bought 2 pens for 13 rupees. So, here the number of pen is 2 and here the number of pen is 2. So, for comparing, you have to find Rakesh bought 2 pens for how much rupees. Here Raju bought, since Raju bought 2 pens, uh, here the cost of Raju's 2 pen is 13 rupees. So, here you have to also find the cost of Rakesh's 2 pens. 
ओके सो राकेश बॉट टेन पेन फॉर फिफ्टी फाइव रुपीज राकेश बॉट वन पेन फॉर फिफ्टी फाइव बाय टेन रुपीज एंड द राकेश बॉट टू पेन फॉर फिफ्टी फाइव बाय टेन इंटू टू टू फाइव ज टेन फाइव इलेवन ज सो इलेवन रुपीज सो राकेश बॉट टू पेन फॉर इलेवन रुपीज एंड राजू बॉट टू पेन फॉर थर्टीन रुपीज सो हू हेज पेड मोर राकेश बॉट टू पेन फॉर इलेवन रुपीज एंड राजू बॉट टू पेन फॉर थर्टीन रुपीज सो हू हेज पेड मोर राजू हेज पेड मोर I hope all of you can understand. All of you can understand. Next question number ten. First bus travel thirty six kilometer in thirty minutes. Second bus travel one hundred twenty kilometer in two hours. Which bus does travel first? Here you have to also compare. So first bus travel thirty six kilometer in thirty minutes. One kilometer in how much minute? One hundred twenty kilometer in how much minute? जो दी first bus one hundred twenty kilometer जो तो मेरे टे travel कोच शेर जो दी find out कोते बरा तो ना second bus से one hundred twenty kilometer कोतो time में pass कोते पच्ची शेर दे वाचे ये भावे compare कोते पार भी जो खो number आ first bus से one hundred twenty kilometer distance cover करा जो ना time टे time टे find out कोते पार वो then we can compare who which bus does travel first okay so from this assignment i have solved many questions but i have left some question for you by solving yourself but if you cannot do any question from this assignment and if you have any queries in any questions from this assignment you will ask me